Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I did a flip a card, which um, Sizzix actually has a die that creates this for you with the cut and the scores and everything, but um, I can show you how to make it with pretty much any Spellbinders die or any die that's wafer thin. So here's how it works. You open it up and it kind of flips around, um, sticks out a little bit, and so I put one owl looking forward in the front, and then when you open it up, it's got two owls looking at each other. Kind of a surprise owl in there. Okay, so what I did first was I took four and a quarter by eleven inch sheet of paper, and um, I inked it up. I full actually, sorry, scored it down the middle, and then I inked the whole thing up with bundled sage. And now I'm coming in with this Hero Arts leaf and floral background stamp with forest moss ink, and I'm going to stamp it off. Then I'm going to stamp it off again because I really wanted a lighter image that was just um, a shade darker in green. So I'm going to lay it down there, and I'm going to do one side of the card, and then I'm going to do the same exact process on the other side, and I'm going to be careful to lay the paper down so that it's in the same direction that I just did the other one. And that way, when it folds together, it looks like it actually matches up. All right, so now I've got my scoreboard, and I'm going to score it at 2 and 3 quarter and 3 and 3 quarter. And I'm going to take three different layers of these spellbinder dies. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to center it on that um, two and three quarter inch mark. And then I'm going to put some eclipse masking tape there to hold it down. Now the trick here is you're not going to cut on that one inch piece between the two and three quarter and the three and three quarter uh, score marks. So I'm going to start with the outside, the smaller side. And I'm going to put my bottom plate down, and my top plate is just going to go over that right-hand portion. I'm going to run it through. And that way, it'll just cut that right side. Now I flipped my card over, I'm going to do the other side of that one-inch score. So when I take this off, you'll see it didn't cut that middle piece. Okay, now I'm taking my smallest die, and I'm going to stick it in the middle to make a window, and I'm just going to slide the whole thing through so that it actually cuts the whole the whole shape out. All right, now you're going to fold it in half, and then you're going to um, fold it one, two, toward the outside. And there you go. That's how it works, and that's that's basically the the base of the card. All right, I'm taking a piece of this is all Nina cardstock because I'm using Distress Ink, and this is worn lipstick, and. Um, I'm just covering it up and then I'm going to use the envelope pattern from Hero Arts just to create a little bit of texture on this piece in the same exact color, so worn lipstick. It's pretty subtle. And I'm going to layer those two dies together, stick them on there with masking tape to hold it in place and then I'll have a cute little frame. And I'm going to glue that to the inside of the flip bit. Now I cut this tree branch out of a, I just sketched it freehand and I cut it out with some scissors. So there's really nothing special to it. And then I just took a wood grain stamp, it's chocolate chip paper by Stampin' Up and um, chocolate chip ink. And I'm going to do both sides because you'll be able to see both sides of this, of this strip. And then I took a sponge dauber and I inked up uh, both sides of that tree, tree branch. Here's my owl punch and I'm going to punch all my pieces into this little bucket. Um, that way it contains everything and I can easily take them all out um, and lay them on my table because sometimes these pieces kind of go flying everywhere when you're punching them out. For the bellies of these owls, I'm just going to ink up some scattered straw and some worn lipstick and then I'm going to punch those out. And then I just went in there with some markers and I just made some random V marks for their feathers. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I just put one of these together to save time. So uh, I'm, I use my two-way glue pen and I stick the part that's going to have like the, the underneath part. Um, and you'll see that I take my paper piercer and I dip it into the glue and then it's got enough on it to pick up a small piece and place it right on there. And I just repeat that process. 
I also punched out the little heart, which comes with the owl punch. It's one of the pieces. And, I, and then I just colored it with real red. This Little Leaves Sizzlet die is also sold by Stampin' Up. And I made two of those. And then I inked up the leaves to give it a little dimension. And now I'm just trimming off the pieces that I'm going to use. All right, now it's time to put it all together. I'm just lining up my tree branch where I want it. And then I'm going to adhere with some uh, tape adhesive. Um, and then I'm going to take the other owl that's looking to the right and I'm going to glue him to the back. And then I'm going to take my 2A glue pen and I'm going to glue the branch to the frame. And then I kind of went through the frame so I'm going to glue it to the other side from the inside. Okay, and then I'm going to take my other owl, who's looking now at the other yellow owl. I'm just going to stick my heart there, and I'm going to adhere him to the tree branch and the frame. I decided not to use adhesive because I really didn't want it to take a chance that it would stick to the card itself. I'm just going to take these pieces that I inked up and I'm going to use my two-way glue pen again to adhere them. They're going to stick mostly to the frame and the tree branch. And what I did was I, I um, cut out two of them so that I could have one for the outside and one for the inside and I lined them up so it just looked like it was all one piece. And then I did the same thing for this other, other uh, these other leaves on the This sentiment is from Owl Together Now. It's a retired set, and I just stamped it in some chocolate chip ink and rounded the corners on the top. And I also cut out a white piece from the Spellbinders die, and I'm going to lay it down so it lines up, fold my card over, and then it'll stick on the other side. And that's it. Opens up, you see the two owls, and then you have room right there to write your message for your card. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.